Hello, Baronipitous here. Um, yeah, new legend in Brawlhalla, which means new lore in Brawlhalla, and you know how excited I get with that. At least I hope you do. If you're new to this channel and to Baronipitous in general, uh, hi, I'm uh, I'm a total nutcase for Brawlhalla lore, and uh, you will uh, you will see me uh, talk about it throughout this entire video here. So um, today we have. Um, the new legend, Vivi. And, oh, I'm not quite theorizing yet. No, sorry, I'll get that hat later. Uh, yeah, Vivi. Um, or full name, Viviana Batista. Uh, actually, um, so today I'm going to focus on, uh, Viviana's, uh, lore, of course. But I did want to kind of point out, uh, something kind of neat, uh, here before I get into that. Let me, um, let me first, uh, make sure that I find the, the correct video here. Okay, cool. So, um, let's see. All right. So what we got here is um, uh, Vivi's reveal trailer, basically. Um, at the time of recording this video, uh, basically, uh, well, I'll explain it in a little bit. But I, I have Vivi's reveal trailer here, and we got some cool stuff here, right? Like you know the the flower and the you know the uh, the face and the outfit and stuff. We got this capoeira dancing, which is pretty awesome. Uh, oh, okay, here we go. So that, uh, that was what I wanted to show. Just this little moment here where when we see the cat walking, uh, right about here. Okay. So this whole, this whole time we're seeing just the cat walking and some text scrolling in the background. But I wanted to point out the fact that this is actually, um, this reveal trailer actually showed us the full, like Vivi's full name, full first and last name. Uh, because if you look in the text back here, we see V, uh, V, V, uh, and the text continue Viviana, Viviana. It, it, it might be kind of hard to read, but like I, as far as I can tell, it's very clearly V I V I A N A, Viviana. So Vivi is short for Viviana, and then it can the text continues to be B A T I S T A, Viviana Batista, and that is a sort of blink and you'll miss it moment. Right there, um, Viviana Batista. Boom, could have missed it. Um, but then, of course, we see like this, this cute little cat and everything, and the Viviana, and, uh, Vivi, and her full of uh, glory. I just wanted to sort of point that out that uh, even in the reveal trailer, we, if you if you look closely enough, you know you you could actually learn what her full name is, which I think is kind of a neat uh, detail um, there. So. Um, yeah, we apart from the weapons and the way she looks and the fact that she's from Brazil and that she dances, she is a capoeira dancer. We didn't really know anything. We couldn't really learn anything else from this reveal trailer. But today we're going to talk about uh, her lore. At the time of this recording, um, I did get the lore a couple of days early, so thank you very much to um, Left Stick for for that. And I um, I got that so that I could release this video pretty much on time when VV is released. So. I just want to make it very clear, uh, although I do have the lore here, and like, and I mean, I guess this video is going to be out when Vivi is already released, but I was not told anything else about the character whatsoever. Um, all I know is what was seen, all I know right now, at the time of this recording, is what was seen on the reveal trailer and Vivi's lore. That's it. Um, but yeah, we're going to talk about that. Here we go. So, here it is, uh, and I'm just going to read it through, and then I'll talk about it. So... The Deadly Dancer. Of course we're friends. She's the only one of you knuckleheads that hasn't tried to kill me. Azoth to Jawa. Sounds like you should brush your cat more often. It can also strengthen the bond between animal and owner. Now I'm going to tell my client that I threw a sword covered in bees at you and you died peacefully. You should lay low for a while. Vivi to a target she sparred. Um, I can't. I'm not even going to attempt a Brazilian accent. <laughs> As the story goes, while eliminating members of Nemesis Order along the coasts of Brazil, Viviana Batista finally met her secret handler, the CEO of Nemesis Order. Severely let down by a twist she had already seen in movies, Vivi went freelance. But first, she scorpion kicked the CEO off a 1,000 foot waterfall, then she went freelance. Vivi tests the limits of her capoeira mastery against every extraordinary foe she could find. After signing an extremely wordy NDA from the Meyer and Meyer group, 
She performed a quality control battle against the M against the Mach 2 Android Armada, which she later described as a bunch of dumb babies during a focus group. She thwarted the supermodel villain Damal. She later thwarted the villain hand model One Eye Damal. Vivi soon found the hidden village of Hakrad beneath the dunes of the Len uh, Lensois um, Mar Maranhenses. Sorry if I butch butchered that. There, she was inducted into the elite league uh, into an elite league of assassins, all of whom had taken an oath to forsake magic or otherworldly power in all its forms, uh, relying on strength, agility, and mental dexterity. Vivi refined her deadly dance as she fought enemies in aircrafts, on the arms of a giant statue, and even at a pool party, which is how inflatable water slides became classified as a as dangerous weapons. Best gig ever. On her final job, she bailed on a, on a clean shot so she could rescue a stray calico from an oncoming Meyer Organics mobile suit. Although it was Vivi that paid the price that day, she'd do it again. In Valhalla, Vivi's capoeira has become very popular as a group activity. She loves to gather a crowd for a lively rota. It's one of the few times Zol actually smiled and not as a threat. Residents can also keep up with her cat blog, Across the Unifers. So there you go. Um, lore is hilarious and epic as always. Let me uh, sort of uh, break this down piece by piece, starting with the quotes at the top. So uh, yeah, a so Azoth is mentioned. So she has a connection to a cat, um, in particular a, a particular calico cat, hence the uh, the calico cat keychain on one of her blasters. Um, but yeah, so she she likes cats a lot. And it would make sense that she would be friends with Azoth because Azoth is also a cat owner. And I imagine she would also be friends with Fate, who is also a cat owner as well. Um, Azoth was talking to Jala because Jala actually was one of the people who defeated Azoth, you know, along with, you know, Mirage also defeated Azoth at one point. Fate also defeated Azoth. A bunch of people have defeated Azoth. And so that's why Azoth is like, she's one, the only one of you knuckleheads who hasn't tried to kill me. <laughs> um, and then... Um, and yeah, it seems like uh, Vivi does have definitely a passion for, uh, you know, for cats, you know, because apparently she, there was a target she was supposed to, like, take care of, it sounds like. But in this second quote here, um, she gave cat ownership tips and, and all that and let them off easy, apparently. Um, Threw a sword covered in bees. That's interesting. The only other time I've heard about bees in the lore is when um, Caspian uh, stole Thatch's beard and replaced it with... Um, bees um i don't think that's really related but it's funny okay so in the lore itself it talks about so uh vivi was once hired by the nemesis order apparently um we've never heard of the nemesis order uh, it was probably some nefarious group apparently in brazil maybe in other places um it's hilarious that vivi's boss was the ceo of nemesis order which is very much a kind of classic like Bond Pulp Fiction style twist that she had already seen in movies. Um, so yeah, Scorpion kicked the CEO off a 1,000 foot waterfall and then she went freelance. Um, but yeah, so if you're not familiar, oh yeah, so it talks about her capoeira mastery. Uh, if you're not familiar with what capoeira is, I'm not really an expert on on what capoeira is. I'm sure other people can explain it better, but I am I am vaguely I am like casually familiar with it because i actually did take a, b a brief beginner's class on capoeira there's kind of this this very basic move you see it in the trailer where it's like um i, I can't do it very well but um you kind of like cross like your your legs and your arms and you kind of have this contrary motion going on uh, that's kind of like the the standard anyway i recognized it in the trailer i recognized the motions and there's a lot of like, you know, kicking. It looks kind of like breakdancing. It has, it has its roots in like, you know, in combat training or like secret combat training that looks like dancing. Um, so it, it's very fitting for a uh, basically a hired assassin character. Um, but yeah, interesting that it's so Meyer and Meyer group is very interesting because um, this is so obviously it brings to mind Meyer Baby Food Corporation, which is the um, the, the supposedly evil mega corporation that... Ada was once a part of, but Ada went rogue and decided to fight against the Myers Baby Food Corporation, which I actually do think MBFC, Myers Baby Food Corporation, is evil because they had an, an upload enslavement initiative um, trying to, like, you know, maybe control the masses or something. Um, Val was also a product of the Myers Baby Food Corporation. Um, Seven, 
is also the, so the character seven is um like her um like Maya Iridium was a type of metal that was mentioned and now we have Meyer and Meyer group so this kind of tells me that the mbf that mbfc is just it's had its fingers in a lot of different pies over the decades centuries whatever um and it's just like a you know big like this big mega corporation that's been it's not just all we only knew that it was like in america before but now we know that it's a bit more worldwide because Meyer and Meyer group apparently was also in brazil um and they were building um an, an android armada which you know I, I think that was probably a precursor to val i imagine um this is really funny the, so the supermodel villain damal and then later the villain hand model one eye damal so this is kind of like when uh i don't think it's so this kind of reminds me of when uh so in diana's lore it said that diana killed the mad king of batavia and then she killed the and then she slew the vampire mad king of batavia and then she slew the ghost vampire mad king of batavia basically you know uh just you know destroying the same you know evil character three times essentially mad king vampire mad king ghost vampire mad king and so i'm guessing i'm guessing a similar thing happened here where there is this villain who was also a supermodel named damal and i guess um vivi you know beat up damal so badly that like it took out one of damal's eyes and so damal couldn't really be a model anymore and so instead damal is just like a hand model right for for things like jewelry or watches or, or whatever um so hence one eye damal anyway we've never heard of damal before um so don't know anything about that doesn't sound like it's dr evilstein or josh evilstein or whatever uh, although the name is kind of similar um the mal the the bad i think actually here let me let me open a, let me just uh, briefly open a window for some research purposes for uh, a little bit later here <clears throat> so i can look up a few things later so yeah so there's that um okay so this next paragraph this is where i need to well hold on let me um Okay, so at, at the very least, so I'm, I'm looking up Google Translate, which is not always the best thing, but, and so those of you who do speak Portuguese can correct me here, but yeah, just typing in Damal in Google Translate from Portuguese to English, it does mean just bad, um, which I kind of suspected, but anyway. Um, okay, so um, the hidden village of Hakrad, Hak, I don't know how to, I don't know how to pronounce that, Um Nothing's really coming up. Um, I'm searching Hakrad, Brazil. Um, nothing's really coming up there, so I'm not entirely sure. Um, but this 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 uh, this part here, um, Lens Lensois Ma uh, Maran Hen says. I'm so butchering that. I'm so sorry. Um, oh gosh. Um, I'm curious. I I have a hunch. Um, um, I I'm guessing this. I'm guessing this Lensuas Marahense uh, is some kind of Portuguese phrase. And I wasn't sure if Lensuas uh, Lens. How do you even say this? Oh, oops. Yeah. Now, how do you even say this? Lean soys. Lean soys, I guess. Um, Google Translate saying that it means linen. I wasn't sure if it meant lion for some reason. Um, but what is this other one? Maran Hen says. We're not really getting anything meaningful, I don't think. Um, Oh, okay. All right. I think I found. I think I found something that works. Uh, there's a Linsois Marin Henson's National Park um, in northeastern Brazil. Um, I'm just learning about this stuff just right along with you guys here because yeah, this is all like brand new to me essentially. Um, but yeah, there's yeah, there, there there's that and 
Oh yeah, beneath the dunes of of that. Okay, so yeah, this is some. I mean, yeah, that does look like. You know, a lot of it does look like a, a kind of a desert sort of place. Um, I was curious if. Okay, I don't see uh, Hawk Rod is not mentioned in there. Um, but yeah, so it in this area, and so it's kind of like in, in this place right right up here in the north northeastern part of uh, Brazil. So there's that. Um, inducted into an elite league of assassins, all of whom had taken an oath to forsake magic or otherworldly power in all its forms, relying on strength, agility, and, men and mental dexterity. So I thought of two things here, and it's probably not connected to either one, but first of all, a hidden village of assassins in a, in a desert. That reminds me of Mirage's lore, who found a like a hidden society of assassins and stuff, although Mirage does use magic sand power, I guess, uh, sand, like sand weaving or whatever. Um... Also, I wasn't sure if this was at all related to the Order of the Exalted Lion. Um, although it doesn't seem like they're... Uh, it doesn't seem like this Order of Assassins is, like, trying to do the same thing as the Order of the Exalted Lion is. Um, I think they're just kind of, like, a bunch of assassins who are um, trying to, like, you know, do things the old-fashioned way without magic, essentially. Um, and that does sound right up uh, Vivi's alley with her... Uh, with her, you know, using, like, just modern weapons and her capoeira skills and dexterity and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, enemies and aircrafts, the arms of a giant statue. I'm wondering if that might be a, a kind of a reference to the uh, the the Jesus statue in uh, Brazil. Uh, the one, like, with, with arms outstretched. Um, even And even at a pool party. Um, but yeah, Meyer Organics mobile suit, once again. Meyer is mentioned once, once again. And yeah, Stray Calico. Um, so it sounds like, it doesn't sound like she has the cat with her, but she seems to really like cats. It seems to be part of her identity. Um, oh, that was another thing I wanted to look up. So there was this thing, um, so Rhoda, um, if that's how you say it. She loves to gather a crowd for a lively Rhoda. And I do not know what that means, so I'm going to look that up here. Okay. Um, I kind of suspect it might be related to capoeira dancing in some way. I think it's referring to something like this here. Uh, so it, it, so the word in, in Portuguese means wheel or circle, apparently. Um, it's a circular formation which in, within which participants perform in uh, several like African or Afro-Brazilian uh, dance art forms, including uh, capoeira, right? So the best I can determine is that a rota is kind of... Again, I could be wrong, but it's kind of like uh, when, when you're at a dance party and you uh, you form a circle and then people like dance in the middle of that. It seems like it's kind of like that. So gathering a crowd for a lively rota and, you know, kind of like, you know, maybe have a dance off or something like that. And it sounds like even Zoll in, uh, enjoys those kind of things, which sounds awesome. Uh, <laughs> and then finally, across the universe, this is kind of funny because in the in the in the in the, in the days leading up to um the teaser trailer for VV. Um, Brahala had been making a bunch of tweets. Um, here, I'll go ahead and sort of uh, show them off here briefly. Uh, is there anything I do? Although, is there anything I do here brief? Okay, here we go. Uh, here's the. Um, so yeah, so some of the some of these teasers, like for example, this thing right here. Um, with Azoth, Azoth with a uh, with a Brazilian with a Brazilian like flag and Dander kind of behind his head, and then there was this with um, Butterscotch playing with uh, Fate's hat, and then there was this flower, which we can see that flower in uh, in BB's trailer. But I, I bring I bring this up because in um, in uh, in each of these three teasers, the flower and Butterscotch and uh, Azoth and Dander, um, this URL was was here across the universe. So if you click on it. Um, you get a couple of different, so the first, so when it was, it actually led to a couple different things first. So on March 28th, that link led to Azoth's lore page, brahala.com forward slash legends forward slash Azoth. And then with this one on March 30th, the brahala.com forward slash across the universe led to fate's lore page, brahala.com forward, brahala.com forward slash legends forward slash fate. And then finally, Brahala.com forward slash across the universe on April 1st led you basically to not this exact page because it was it just kind of showed the um, 
um, it just kind of showed the the image of the flower and then this this quote between butterscotch and dander and just saying the new legend will be coming blah 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 um, but now if you go to that page it leads to this sort of preview page of Vivi the deadly dancer and you can see that she has boots and blasters and you can check out her trailer here and you can see this really cool dynamic uh, splash art so yeah, that's uh, that's what we got for for the lore, and it's very possible that I might have missed some, you know, maybe clues or you know references in there, which you know I usually do in my first, you know, pass over uh, over lore. So if you have any uh, theories or things you want to or things you're you're curious about with this with with Vivi, uh, Viviana Batista, um, feel free to uh, talk about it in the comments uh, below, and I'm well, I'd be more than happy to. Um, yeah, I'll be more than happy to respond and uh, theorize along with you. Um, I guess I I normally uh, would have my theorizing cap. Um, I don't really have a lot of theories here. Um, sometimes legends are more connection heavy, and sometimes they're not. And while there certainly are a lot of cool, interesting things in here, um, the, VV seems. Um, I think VV doesn't seem as connected as say Red Raptor or Loki or. Um, or fate, for example, uh, but I think part of that might also be that uh, she's from Brazil, and we we really haven't had any like legends from South America at all. The closest we ever had to the before this was Queen Nai, who is um, since she's from the as from she, since she is Aztecan, uh, that would be like Mexico, Central America area, and then maybe maybe Nash because we don't know exactly where Nash is from, but like you know there's. There's evidence of like saber-toothed tiger skeletons in several places, including South America. But yeah, really, really nothing for South America until now, which is really cool. Um, America, you know, uh, so and I mean, you know, Brazil as a region in general and Brahal has just been doing like extremely well in esports in the past uh, in the past year or so especially just they i mean they they generally always have but especially in the past uh, year or two and so it, it seems it seems very fitting to finally have someone directly from brazil with several um brazilian references and, and things like that um i imagine this is kind of like when when tezco was released and like you know bits of of mexican culture were also like you know brought in which it's really cool. I love seeing that. I love the I love the immense uh, diversity of cultures and backgrounds uh, that we have in the um, Brahalla roster. So um, yeah, I'm I'm excited for for Viviana Batista. Um, I love playing with boots. I struggle with blasters a bit, but I'm sure she will be awesome. Uh, as of the recording of this video, I have not seen any of her signatures or whatever i've not seen any of her skins i know nothing else like i said except her lore and the reveal trailer so um but yeah but there you go if you were curious about lore there, there's my take on it for you know in less than 25 minutes <laughs> so thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed and until next time all the best